more than half of them are just like not good ideas, but one or two of them are actually pretty good. Hey guys, what is up? Uh, it's Jason Goodison back with another video in the six week resume bulk. I know I've been really spotty with shooting these videos, but I've just been so busy working on my side stuff. So uh, I finally decided I would sit down. Sorry if you hear some laundry or other things going on in the background. I'm just completely multitasking all the time now. So um, the first week of this resume bulk, we created our first resume as a good starting place. The second week we decided what area of technology is for us and then which language would be the best for us to learn. So I hope you've started learning that in your spare time. And this third week, what we're gonna talk about is what project you should put on your resume to help you get that job. Uh, so I hope you've started learning and playing around with that language and framework that you wanted to um, in the last week or two since I posted the last video. And so now we're gonna come up with a good project to put on that resume to make you stand out. Now I've done a ton of videos before on which projects you should do and what are good projects and all that kind of stuff. So I'm gonna put a bunch of links in the description and I really highly recommend you check out those videos. But anytime people Google this or, or they ask me or they YouTube it, they always want an, an answer. They want what is the best project for me to do? Is it a currency converter? Is it a, a fake social media? What is the best project for me to do? And what I have to say is any answer I can give you to this question is wrong. The reason any answer I give you is wrong is because the question itself is wrong. You shouldn't be trying to look for a solid idea from somebody else. There's the thing that makes you stand out the most to employers is when you come up with a problem from your own life and then you solve that problem. And I'm gonna show you how to come up with a problem from your life. Before we get into that, I'm gonna give you a good example. I have a buddy and he was creating uh, an application to put on his resume and he was playing some fantasy league and he kept feeling like he was getting blindsided by which goalie was playing that night. And you know, he needed to put the goalie in his fantasy team that was playing that night or something, I don't play fantasy. But he needed some kind of notification system to tell him which goalie was gonna be in so that he didn't have to be blindsided whenever game started. So he wrote just this little Python script um, that would pull the information off of some website for him uh, and it would send him a notification onto his phone. Fantastic little web project that does exactly what he needed it to do, solves a real problem in his life. It doesn't have to solve every problem that everybody has in the world. It doesn't have to solve problems for seven billion people. It just has to solve it for him or his friends or his family. And it doesn't have to be big, right? And that, that script helped him get a job at a cool company. So here's a good exercise I'm gonna give you that's gonna help you come up with a list of problems from your life. You probably experience a lot of problems on a day-to-day -day basis and you don't even realize you are experiencing them because your body's not trained to think about them and to write them down. They're just little frustrating events. The best thing you can do to get your brain to start recording that information is come up with one startup idea or one project idea every single day, that's it. So you're gonna do this for two weeks. I mean, ideally you would do this for like three months, but because this is a six week resume bulk, you don't have the whole three months. So what I'm gonna suggest is you do this for two weeks. In the meantime, really be learning that, that side language, that side framework, the one you really want to actually use for this project, but just start writing down one, two problems a day. What have I experienced today which would have a technological solution? You don't have to implement it either. You, you could, maybe the solution that you would come up with would, would require billions of dollars of funding so you couldn't do it by yourself. That's okay, just write it down. You're gonna notice that as you start to write down startup ideas every single day, it's gonna get your brain in this mode where it's looking for problems and looking for opportunities. So I've got a whole list of things on my phone Half of them, more than half of them, are just like not good ideas to actually launch a startup in. But one or two of them are actually pretty good. And the only reason I got those one or two are because I wrote, is because I wrote down the hundreds that were bad and got my brain into the right mode. So, so here's what I recommend you do. Once a day, write down two startup ideas because this is such a contracted uh, amount of time. Write down two startup ideas, okay? Try to make it related to the language that you're learning. 
try to make the language you're learning have a solution. But, and then what you're gonna do is write those down two weeks, and then at the end of those two weeks, no matter what you've got on the page, maybe you don't have much, maybe you have a lot, you're gonna go through and you're gonna pick one, and one of, any one of them, and it's gonna be your side project. Now, like let's say you end up picking a big one, you don't have to implement the whole thing, you just have to implement some kind of prototype for it. Hopefully you're solving a problem that you and your friends have that you could write a full solution for yourself. That's the most ideal case you could get. But worst case, it's like a really big endeavor and you can only do a prototype of it. That's okay. So at the end of that two weeks, you're gonna pick one of those projects and that's what you're gonna be implementing for weeks five and six of this resume critique bulk. We have a Discord server. So join the Discord server because there's already 200 people in there. Uh, a good portion of them are probably doing this six week resume bulk. Um, it's great if you could connect with one of those people and you know help each other, keep each other accountable and uh, maybe even build a project together. So thank you guys so much for watching today. I hope that this has helped you guys you know craft your understanding of what a good resume is. Uh, I can't wait to see you in the next week and sorry for waiting so long to post this video. I've just been so busy. So thank you so much for waiting. I will see you next time.